Hey, if you're not a DDFM crew member, make sure you click that join button real quick. Okay, now that you did that, let's go ahead and talk about these issues right here. We have an intersection hazard and we also have an intersection crash. Now, now if you're a new rider and you're not a DDFM crew member yet, let's go ahead and talk about these two in-town moto mistakes. Let's not make these ourselves. Let's go ahead and get in there. Moving over here, side of the vehicle once again. I'm supposed to go in that first available lane. Great swerve, great swerve. Woo, baby. Trick Wonders, good job. Callahan73, welcome to the crew. Enter the the motorcycle gear giveaway. Oh yeah, check all the perks you get. Like the course syllabus and everything before the class. All right, what do we got? We got more? We get, oh, we got more. Oof. No, please don't. Bad line of sight, no, no stopping distance. Now we're getting close to this truck. We're gonna get back into our lane. We're getting agitated and angry. It took us a while just to catch up. And what are we gonna do? Lane filter, just so we can hit a mirror. Trick wonders, we're putting ourselves in danger just for, and then we're gonna, ooh, no. Oh, oh, ooh. What are we doing? Idiot, bro. Man. I just gave you a compliment too on your swerve. All right, I'll, I'll, you, you get to keep the compliment. You get to keep the compliment. All right, so we're moving into a, an intersection. Now left turners, right turners, basically anybody going in the path of travel, it's very dangerous. That's why we go into orange stage because we're prepped and ready on intersections. So intersections are default orange stage, corners are default orange stage. Get that in your head. So we're going over here and we see the side of the vehicle. Now we're in the middle lane. Once again, we're supposed to do the whole first available lane thing. Don't trust it, never do. We've already seen it on this live stream. So what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna be getting close to each other and thankfully he was situationally aware to be able to swerve left. Okay, very good. So great swerve, this is why you practice your swerves because at this moment, his total stopping distance isn't good enough. We would collide into the side of the vehicle if we tried to stop. So this is why you need to be able to practice your swerves, okay? So he's gonna go ahead and swerve and gaming in mods, welcome to the crew. He's gonna go ahead and move over to the left lane. Did a great job on the swerve, that's all it took. Now we're out of danger, move on with our day, and go ahead and do an after action review yourself and be like, how come I didn't see that? How come that person went into that lane and is my swerve good enough? Yes it is, boom, done. That's the way I would have done it. Now we're gonna get into here. So he's looking back, okay fine, go ahead and do that. Get back in your lane, non-issue at this point. Now we're waiting for them to get up next to us so we can say something mean, okay? They don't care. They don't care. They might be embarrassed, you know? They might just straight up don't care. So now we're gonna accelerate and get into a dangerous spot, okay? So we did good back there. Now we're removing all the good we did. So what's happening here is we have terrible total stopping distance and space cushion. Just take a look at this. That's our total stopping distance and space cushion for the speed we're going. Also, you can't see around this vehicle. You can see a little bit right here and this is just from the camera angle, so maybe he can see, but here's the thing, terrible line of sight. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Also, we can't escape very well because we're gonna hit the median. So we're not planning our ride. We're not positioned for safety, and we're not thinking about safety. We're thinking about anger, and we're thinking about getting back at him, okay? So he's pissed. Now look at this, once if this car slammed the brakes, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to position for safety. Can't do much other than swerve again. So we're gonna go ahead and swerve into this next lane. Look at that terrible line of sight. You couldn't even see that there was other vehicles in that lane. They're going slower. This lane is faster, but he's gonna try it anyways. Realizing he's catching up to that white truck and he's gotta get back in the left lane. So we're gonna go ahead and get back in the left lane. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to get back into the right lane to go around. But then there's a passage of time with a crossfade and we're gonna now do it over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and lane filter. Um, I don't think it's California. It could be California. Uh, only places in the United States, California and Utah that allows lane filtering, so this could be illegal. Let me go ahead and check. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and lane filter just to hit the mirror. There's the mirror that he hit. Now, just like any typical uh, motorcycle rider that does something like this, they just run away. And now we're gonna go ahead and lane filter through all this at high rates of speed. Um, because of adrenaline is kicked up and we can't control our right hand and we're gonna be moving forward and we're just gonna keep going. So we're gonna put ourselves in danger. We're gonna put everybody else in danger just because we had to swerve out of the way because somebody else put us in danger. So we're gonna put everyone else in danger because we got put in danger. It's very, very logical. So we're moving forward and we're gonna be pissed. Idiot, bro. Rain, watch out, low traction issues. Okay, that guy's not going in the first available lane. We got surprised and we dumped the bike. It sucks. I just don't want you guys to be surprised. Are you all right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Where the hell did you come from? From my green light. Green arrow and everything. Why do you think he, uh... Okay, so he didn't see. Why do you think he didn't see him? Look at the screen we have now. We got water droplets. Do you think it might be on his windows, too? Also, you know, inattentional blindness, motion-induced blindness, too much going on because he's going to a construction zone. He says he's a biker, too. Yeah, no, I know, but I looked up and... I from the top. Yeah, I saw that, and then I was turning right. And yeah, and you, the next thing I know, you're right up against my car, and I thought, Jesus Christ. All right, right, we could talk about that. Yeah. Overall, long story short, Mr. Mr. Uh, Orange Car. I used to say the names of the cars, but then you guys got all mad at me because I'd get it wrong. The reason why he's going into our lane, because he's supposed to go in the first available lane, is this. Okay, so he's looking ahead. His focus is on the construction. He's not looking to the left. Okay, it's not it's not an excuse for for him to get away with it. It's just a, a possible reason for it. Okay, so anyways, we're going into here now. We have a green arrow. I'm assuming it looks like we have a green arrow, and we're going, we're going, we're turning now. Mr. Camaro man, it's not. Is it a Camaro, guys? It's a Dodge. It's a Dodge though. It's not a Chevy. See, that's why I wanted. I didn't want to say anything. Anyways, he's going to go into this first available lane. We can't see with our line of sight that there's going to be a, a stop to that lane. Okay, it's a Dodge Challenger. There we go. All right, Challenger, Dodge, 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 Dodge. All right. Anyways, he's going to be going into that first available lane and realize that he can't, and he's going to go into your lane. So here's the thing. We have great vision. We're, an ama we're the smartest of smart riders. We have an amazing vision. We see the side of the vehicle. We should be kind of un understanding that that could possibly be a threat. So when we're getting closer and we're getting closer right here, I don't want to be close to this. So what I'm going to do is it looks like I'm pretty safe from anybody wanting to do this. What I'm going to do is go ahead and decelerate just a little bit. I'm just going to decelerate. And I'm going to go ahead and merge in like a zipper merge. If you don't know what a zipper merge is, America obviously doesn't understand it. Everyone else does. Seems like American, uh, North American, USA drivers are terrible. <sighs> Zipper merging is amazing. Anyways, we're going to get into here, and that's where he's going. Just kind of get up behind him. Simple as that. Just get up behind him. Let him go. Decelerate. Let him in. Then you go. The problem is that we assume that first available lane, first available lane, first available lane, first available lane. And we're going to go into our first available lane, therefore we're correct. He's going to go into his first available lane, therefore he's correct. He sees that there's a construction, so he's going to go into our lane, and he's going to either forget about us or didn't see us. So I'm not going to put my safety in his, his hands. I'm going to decelerate, and I'm going to just kind of wait until he goes. So this is the back end of him, this is the front end of him, and this is me, and I'm going to get right behind him. Zipper merge it. Simple. So it would have solved this. Now we realized, and look where where we have to uh, to work with. Look at our work area. We have to slam the brakes, basically. You know, you could probably slow down enough, but we have rain, we have construction, we have no escape paths, we have terrible space cushions, all those factors coming to one, and that involves a crash. So remove as many of those factors as possible, stay away from people, just zipper merge in. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.